Hi everyone, welcome back to today's video. So today we have a lot to talk about. We are going to be going through the CNN Democratic debate and everything that's going on about that. So I just finished watching the live coverage of them drawing the different candidates out from the two boxes. Um, very interesting. I could see that it was done fairly and uh, obviously no... Um, no no interesting things going on there but this is the debate lineup so on the first night i'll just read out the names and then i'll give you my analysis of each night and then see what's going to happen on those nights later on so on the first night there's the montana governor steve bullock former maryland representative john delaney john hickenlooper tim ryan marianne williamson pete Buttigieg, amy klobuchar beto o'rourke bernie sanders and elizabeth warren uh, interesting how Sanders and Warren are going head to head there, but I'll, uh, I'll I'll say my full analysis a bit later. On the second night, you've got Michael Bennett, Bill de Blasio, Tulsi Gabbard, Kirsten Gillibrand, Jay Inslee, Cory Booker, Julian Castro, Andrew Yang, Joe Biden, and Kamala Harris. So it's it's really it. okay. So the first night is pretty much centrist night, like. If, if you look at the candidates that you got, Steve Bullock, centrist from Montana. You also have John Delaney, who's prided himself on a centrist. You've got John Higginlooper, who, who's gone after Bernie Sanders on socialism. You've got, you've got Tim Ryan. You've got Pete Buttigieg. You, you've got, I guess, Marianne Williams, and we don't know much about her specific policies, but Amy Klobuchar and Beto O'Rourke. There's a lot of centrists on this first night, and it's going to be interesting to have the two people who are commanding the stage who are at that top tier in the polling, those being the Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders and the Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. It's going to be interesting to see how these oops, how these different candidates, whether it be a Bullock, whether it be a Delaney, a Hickenlooper, any one of these candidates, how they will go after the self-described democratic socialist and the um progressive firebrand um i guess both are progressive firebrands but um one is a democratic socialist and it's going to be interesting to see how these capitalists um proud capitalists go after some of these more progressive figures in the race and i think they will go after the vermont senator and the massachusetts senator so those two need to be prepared for the attacks that are going to come from Steve Bullock, from Delaney, from Hickenlooper, from Ryan, and, and from Klobuchar. And, and it's going to be interesting to see how um, the two frontrunners in this case perform. And yes, Elizabeth Warren had a good debate on the first night. Uh, Bernie Sanders, I, I thought he had a good debate on that second night, but it didn't really seem to move the polls. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how um, how these centrist people who aren't doing too well in the polling, how they will go after uh, the two um, liberal senators, the, the two most liberal senators in the country. So uh, it looks like we have one new update here. Um... Oh, yeah, will Warren and Sanders' friendship be tested at the debates? Um, Warren and Sanders will share a stage. Okay, this this thing seems interesting. So they're going head-to-head -head on July 30th. There are no two top two, two top or even middle-tier candidates with so much in common. Yes, they're drawing support. Um, they seem to be taking a... If Sanders is worried about what that Warren is claiming the progressive mantle for him, he could question Warren on healthcare and force her to talk more about uh, Medicare for all. If if Warren, who says I'm with Bernie on healthcare the first time around, seeks to differentiate herself, she could argue that she's a better choice, plans and all, to make to make their shared proposals a reality. So it's really gonna be interesting to see how these candidates how the how the these people on this side of the state and and you know the Klobuchar's and the Ryan's how these people on the wings go after the progressives in the middle and that's saying something you know the these governors these 
these senators, that they're not doing very well. And these are centrist people, normally they would dominate a primary, but they're struggling to break out of 1%, so it's going to be interesting. Okay, so first night, this is the podium placements. So obviously you've got Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren in the middle commanding the stage. It's going to be an interesting dynamic to see how these some of these people towards the wings and towards the end of the stage, how they decide to go after Sanders. You've got, you've got Hickenlooper who might go after Sanders on social You've got Delaney, who might go after both of them on issues like health care. You, 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 you've got many people. You've got even Amy Klobuchar, who's trying to break through. And, and, and there's just a lot of people who, who are trying, who very well might go after these front runners who are progressives. Okay, so overall for the first night, is it good for Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren? I would say... It is not good for Bernie Sanders. It is not good for Bernie Sanders. He, Bernie Sanders' debate style is saying what he believes in, but saying that may result in attacks, and he's not at good as ha at handling those attacks. If an attack comes from Hickenlooper or Delaney or Bullock or Klobuchar or Ryan, it, he'll need to prepare for how to do that. Another reason why it's not great for Bernie Sanders, he his worst case was being with Elizabeth Warren. They, 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 uh, they, they, I, they seem to be close. That they're, they're, they're friends and they're two progressives. They seem to uh, refrain from attacking the other. And it's going to be interesting to see how that dynamic plays. Will they go after each other? I don't think so. I think they'll leave um, the dirty work on the other one to some of these more centrist figures on the debate stage out on the wings. So overall, not good news for Bernie. Uh, I mean, Elizabeth Warren, I mean, she could contrast herself with Bernie saying, you know, I have more plans. I don't think she's going to go after Bernie. But it's not good having a lot of centrist nobodies on the stage with you out in the wings who very well could attack you. Um, okay, there's one new update. Let's... Um, Warren reacts to debates. This is interesting. So I'm seeing this in real time as well. I'm fired up for big structural change. Let's do this. Grateful for another chance to talk about our grassroots movement at CNN's Democratic debate. Okay. Not, 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 not all that uh, interesting. So second night, we got a rematch. We got Joe Biden and Kamala Harris again. And I assume everyone's asking, Will they go after each other? Will Joe Biden and Kamala Harris go toe-to-toe -to -toe again? Another option is that Biden could attack Harris. She's rising in the polls. She attacked her last time. And I don't think Kamala Harris would see that coming. She might have a planned attack, but she would not see a Biden attack coming. But it, it's, it's very difficult because it's hard to know whether someone's going to attack another person. And, and it's just going to be interesting. Now, first night was centrist night. Second night is pretty much progressive night, except for Joe Biden and Michael Bennett. So it's going to be interesting to see how these two contrast themselves, because all the centrists are pretty much on the first night, except for Bennett. So you've got Bennett, who's kind of a centrist, but then you've got Gillibrand, Castro, Booker, Harris, Yang, Gabbard. Gabbard is a, is, is a, is a progressive. you also got Jay Inslee and Bill de Blasio. Like, there's a lot of centrists. Pretty much everyone on this side of the stage could call themselves a progressive. So it's going to be interesting to see um, to see that. So another another piece. All eyes will be on Buttigieg and O'Rourke's interactions during the debates. One key dynamic on the debate night will be how Buttigieg and O'Rourke will interact with each other. Both younger Democrats are considered rising stars in the party, but their presidential campaigns are going in distinctively different directions. After announcing a presidential exploratory committee with little fanfare, Buttigieg raised 25 mil compared to uh, in the second quarter compared to O'Rourke, who raised 9.4 million in the first 18 days of his campaign, but only raised 3.6 million in the second quarter. Um. Many Democratic operatives between believe Buttigieg offered a fresh face during the presidential campaign, step, stepping O'Rourke on O'Rourke's momentum after a failed but closely watched Senate campaign in Texas. So, 
I, it, there's just a lot of things going on. So podium positions. Biden and Harris obviously commanding the stage again. They weren't next to each other on the previous night, but now that they're next to each other, they could really go toe-to-toe here. Another dynamic, Cory Booker could attack Joe Biden. I would like to honestly see Tulsi Gabbard attack Joe Biden. It will be interesting to see how she brings her non-interventionist foreign policy, uh, whether I agree with that or not. It will be interesting to see how she takes that into Joe Biden, whether she goes and attacks him on the Iraq war uh, or other issues. And it's also, I, I predict that Bill de Blasio will go after Joe Biden. He was aggressive in the first debate against O'Rourke. I believe that breaking out from this crowded field, he's going to want to attack Joe Biden. And then Kirsten Gillibrand, she interrupted a lot in the last debate. Same thing with de Blasio. So it's going to be interesting to see if those two people, sort of towards the wings, uh, go after some of these more front-runner type candidates. It's interesting to see Andrew Yang in this centre stage. Like, he was not known, and now he's on the centre stage sitting right next to Kamala Harris. That's very interesting. So it's it's going to be interesting to see how Andrew Yang does. He didn't have a very good debate last time, mostly because he wasn't able to get much chance to talk. But then the question he was asked about his signature proposal, UBI, in my mind was not answered adequately. So it's going to be interesting to see if he changes his style, goes after Biden, or if he just sticks to his message of universal basic income. And it's going to be interesting to see if he kind of uh, interrupts to get his word out there on some other issues as well. So it's very interesting. I can't wait to watch the debates. Um, and there's going to be another video coming out today. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And I hope you're having an amazing day. Good night.